All right, people, I am going to show you in this video how to create your first Zettle and then how to quickly create links to that Zettle when you're taking or reviewing notes on readings, class lectures, videos, and other course material. What this video will not do is tell you what a Zettelkasten is. If you want to learn about what a Zettelkasten is, there is uh, in the page that I had you duplicate from my account into yours, there is a page here that you can go to to find information about what a Zettelkasten is. Uh, I'm not going to go over that, except to say that Zettel is actually pronounced Zettel, but that's a bit hard for you to do unless you have taken the time to learn German, so we'll just call it Zettel. All right, so let's click New, and we are here in the Zettelkasten table. What's our first Zettel going to be? Let's imagine we have been reading texts that have as one of their key points the idea that being materialistic, that is uh, buying lots of things, makes people unhappy. Well, let's create a Zettel that basically says that. So, and all the Zettels should start with a Z. This will make it easier to find them when it comes to quickly making links between the Zettels and the notes you're taking on other pages within your Notion account. So I'm going to write Z here. I like to do Z, then space, then hyphen. And I'm going to type materialism, materialism. Oh God, why did I try to learn a new keyboard layout? Materialism makes people un, not unmappy, but unhappy. I'm just going to hit return. Now, if you want, you could have all of your uh, Zettles have this same image here. Um, if you want to do that, let's click on the page here and obviously don't want that image. I think if we start typing in files, yes, you are given that image. So if you want that image on all of yours, you can, you can do that. Now, once you have a Zettle created, you can make connections between it and other things within your Notion account. And you can make connections to entire pages within your Notion account, but you can also make connections to just specific parts of pages in your Notion account. So let's, let's say we're looking at our reading notes and there's this guy by the name of Jeter. And let's see what the text is that Jeter has, has uh, written. So I'm going to go to the texts. And you'll see that the title of this imaginary piece is Materialism Makes People So Sad. So let's say then that all my notes on Jeter's text are going to be related to this settle. Let's open up that reading note. And... Here, towards the top of the page, since the entire page we're saying is related to this idea of materialism makes people unhappy, we're going to go to the relevant Zettles uh, row here. We're going to click on empty, and it's already popping up these two options because it knows we're looking just in the Zettelkasten database or the Zettelkasten table. Um, but after you've gotten quite a few of these things, in your Zettelkasten, most likely what you're going to want to do is start typing uh, Z and then whatever the name of the of the particular Zettel is. And it comes in, and eventually you'll see it pop up here and then you just click the plus button. So now when we go back to this note, which we could go to simply by clicking on it, but let's go back and do it the, the loser way. So when we go back to this note, what we're going to see is that a link has automatically been created back to the note that we had just made the link from. So this is, a, this is basically what's called bi-directional linking. We could click on this, get to the reading. We can click on this and get to the Zettel that's related to that reading. All right, as I said, you can make links not just to entire pages, but to specific parts of pages. And you can do this rather quickly with Notion. So let's go back to the, uh, the, the Jeter piece. 
And let's say, I'm not even, well, actually this passage is relevant though. It's not from a text by Jeter. Um, to quickly make a link to any other page in your Notion account, you hit the square bracket, and this key is um, towards the top right of your keyboard. It's usually uh, under maybe the numbers eight, nine, zero, or something like that. You're gonna hit the square bracket twice. And then what's going to happen is you're going to get a search box and maybe you'll find that notion is already providing you with some options, one of which you want to choose from, but usually you're going to have to do the search. So here is where having your Zettel start with a Z is going to be really helpful because you'll see that it's showing all these pages that aren't actually in your Zettel costume. They're just somewhere else in your uh, account. And so it might take longer for you to find what you're looking for if you couldn't just simply start with Z and dash and then find, oh, there is the particular note that I want. And you click on that, and then this operates just as this up here operates. You can click on it, and it will take you to the page. Now let's do this to just a couple more pages so that I can show you what happens here. Let's say that this passage is related to the Zettel. I'm going to do that. And let's say uh, in this next reading where I have absolutely no notes, uh, so this is not particularly helpful, but let's say there are some notes here and we're going to relate it to materialism makes people unhappy. Let me go back to the McCollum and I'm going to, let's see here, I'm going to put this way far down on the page just to make a point to show you and I'm going to again create quickly create a link to this Zettel. Now when we go to this Zettel what we're gonna find are links to all the things I just linked to. So we go here and you're not gonna see them up here instead you're gonna see it in this backlinks area. So you click on backlinks and all the pages that you've linked this Zettel to will pop up automatically. And when you click on one of these, it will take you to the very spot where you typed out the, the name of the Zettel. So if we go to Jeter, it takes you to the very paragraph where you had uh, typed the Zettel out. Let's go back. Let's go to McCollum. So I think it was McCollum where I put it on two different places on the page. So Watch what happens here. We click on this and it shows us, it highlights the first place where we typed out the Zettel name. Unfortunately, it doesn't highlight the second place. So there might be kind of a workaround for this. I'll think about how to do that, such that maybe what you could do is uh, you could type the Zettel here and then maybe in parentheses afterwards put one of two. And then for the second time you you've typed the same Zettel link, you could, in parentheses at the end of it, write uh, two of two, so that you're aware when you see, when you come to a page that there's more than one of these uh, Zettels that are attached to a passage and therefore more than one place to look when it comes to finding information you might want to use for a paper or, or whatnot. So again, quick recap. After you have created a Zettel, if you want to link that Zettel to an entire page, you can do that in a row that is listed relevant Zettels. And if you want to link it to a specific passage, a specific, what Notion calls a specific block, then you hit double square brackets, find the Zettel you're looking for, boom, and that's it.